you're gonna learn how they made the traditional Jaura cheese, this delicious Jaura cheese, and of course the best part of it, you will have a chance to try it. Up to 20 different flavors of cheese, that's gonna be really nice. If you like cheese, uh, in Fallen Down we will have the opportunity to eat a lot, if you will, because we start with the cheese factory presentation. After that, uh, we will have some free time. If you're hungry, we can show you a great place to eat. Of course, uh, most food is seafood because it's the speciality here. Um, for example, the kibbelin or fried codfish uh, is the main star in this town. But they also have uh, delicatessen like, uh, for example, smoked eel or rote palin. Uh, So we are here at the second city of this itinerary, which is Volandam. It's a coastal city, as you can see. We're very close to the mainland waters. And we are actually gonna do two things here. We are actually gonna see cheese tasting, which is Howrah cheese, which is very traditional to Holland and the Netherlands. Um, and after that, we're gonna taste some traditional Netherlands Dutch soup waffles. So we will show you those two experiences here and I'm just covering some of the walk. Check it out. Volendam is a Dutch town on the Markermeer Lake, northeast of Amsterdam. It is known for its colorful wooden houses and old fishing boats in its harbor, which is lined with seafood vendors. The Wollandam Museum features paintings, sculptures, and pottery from 1800 to the present, a gallery of traditional costumes and mosaics made from millions of cigar bands. The Paling Sound Museum chronicles the local music scene. There you go, cheese factory of Wollandam. That's where we're going. Look at that. These are actual cheeses made in this farm. Let's check it out. Cheese. The other 90% of the milk will remain liquid 
and we don't use that for Jesus, you can see a bit of the process in here. The liquid that you see is called whey, and the whey part goes back to the animal. It's still very healthy, of course. They really like it, they love to drink it. And we keep the tiny white bits that you can see in here. These are called the curds. These curds are very small, solid pieces of very fresh cheese. We take them out and then we put them into a little mold. The mold is the shape from the gouda cheese. This is for one kilo. We have bigger ones, we have smaller ones. We fill them up and then we bring it to the pressing machine. It's this hydraulic system behind me. Um, and the pressing machine will make sure that all these tiny white bits, these curds, are being pressed together until we have one solid part, one solid cheese. But after the pressing, the cheese will still be really fresh. We can't eat it, it doesn't have any flavor. Two years, even older, and not stronger as well. The oldest one here in the factory, the and we use this grater very often as well. Uh, I will show you how it works. With the slicer, you can peel off the outside rind. There's a very thin layer of plastic to protect the cheese from drying out. And then you can make a perfect thin slice of one of the cheese. Do I have time sir? Or you have the time? Going once, going twice. Here you are. Here you are. To share? And there is cheese for everyone in the moment, of course. More cheese to come. Well, the greater. Okay. Tomato olive. Normal. Mm. 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 That's good. Here we have chili gamba, pepper, tomato, natural. They're also in the selection of four. You have different types of gouda. Pepper. Yeah, pepper. Mm. Chili. Mm. There's some crackers over here. Oh wow. Pesto. Mm. So they have green cheese. Oh, pesto. Wow. Pesto. Pesto. Mmm. Muy verde. Pesto gouda. Goat truffle. This is young cheese. Mm. I do love the older ones. The older one has like a crackling. This looks like a sausage, but there's actually smoked cheese, pure vegetarian. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Dutch traditional way of fixing this, which is taking a couple of So it's just a 
plain caramel snow waffle, only with a little bit of sea salt inside the syrup. And then the last one on top is my personal favorite. It's a speculaas flavored snow waffle. So speculaas is actually a very different type of cookie. After rounds of cheese tasting and stroop waffle tasting, we ended up buying a lot of cheese as well as stroop waffle, which were amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed both the stroop waffle as well as how the cheese making process. Do leave me comments in the comment section below about your thoughts. With this, we ended our short but sweet stop in Wolendam and headed towards our final stop in the Netherlands with Marken. I will cover details about Marken in the next video. Stay tuned and keep watching Offy Travel VK. If you like this video, drop in a thumbs up, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you once again.